Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Cap 5 juf Hope everyone's having a good week out there so far. So, um, I got some messages back from some s subscribers, and I had an idea, and I thought this would be kind of fun to do, uh, to have a QSO on 2 meter upper sideband, which is a mode that the FT991A will support uh, with some of your buddies and so forth in the area. So not all radios can do upper sideband in 2 meter, but the Yaesu is an all mode, what they call all mode radio, so that means it'll do pretty much everything. So let me catch you up here. What I got going on is uh, I have some links in the in this video and uh, below this video there's a link that tells you how to program this frequency into your memory location 3 and there's also going to there's a video that I have where I demonstrate the factory microphone on the ASU and there's two settings on the microphone so you can kinda of hear the different settings in switch position 1 and switch position 2 for the factory microphone that comes with the ASU but for de today's demonstration I'm going to use the M100 and I'm going to use this configuration here and I'm also going to use this little extender here which helps with the sideband uh, uh, talk. So that's what I'm going to use today in this video but there are two links. Uh, the first video shows you how to program this into memory. The second video gives you a demonstration of what the microphone settings are for position one and position two on the factory mic. So you can kind of play around with it but the cool thing is you'll be able to put your headphones in right here and you'll be able to listen to what you sound like because what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the monitor function and I'll show you how that works. So what we'll do first is we're going to set up the parametric equalizer. So to do that there's actually uh, there's, there's settings 128 to 136 and what, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the speech processor and we're also going to turn on the microphone equalizer but what we're going to do is we're going to set the microphone equalizer settings for the when the speech processor is engaged so what we'll do is we're going to press the menu button and we're going to start off with menu number 128 and what we're going to do is we're going to hit select and I'm going to change this to 100 to 100 these are my settings. Now remember everything in blue is factory so all these settings are currently at the factory so I'm going to go through and change them. My setting number 129 I'm going to have it at 10 so I'm going to select it. I'm going to dial 10. Press enter. Then I'm going to go to 130 and I'm going to press select and I'm going to dial 3. I'm going to 131 press select I'm going to dial in 700. And I'm going to go to setting number 132 and I'm going to select negative 3. And I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to select uh, 133. I'm going to select it and I'm going to change it to 7. Then I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to press select. I'm going to change this one to 3200. And the next one is I'm, uh, 135. I'm going to change it to 10. And I'll, I'll put all these settings in the in the uh, video description. And the last one I'm going to change to 2. So now I've gone through and custom set up my parametric equalizer with the speech processor on. And that's what that means right there. When you see the P, when you see the P in front of the parametric, that means it's these are settings that will be active when the speech processor is engaged. The previous settings that we saw here, these are, uh, let's see, where are those other settings at? These are uh, parametric equalizers, but you notice there's no P there. The P means it's when the processor is engaged, and that's what we're going to do. So those are the settings for the speech processor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to turn on the microphone equalizer. We're going to turn on the processor. Now, the processor, what I'm going to show you is when you touch the processor, it's going to become active up here. So I'm going to go ahead and dial this. Uh, I'm going to leave it on 20. That's where I'm going to leave it for today. 
So to clear this, because right now when I touch when I touch it, I now have control with the, with the uh, multi knob. So to clear that, once I'm done with it, I'm going to clear this function here, and I'm going to press memory channel, and that'll clear that. Microphone equalizer is also on, which is what I want. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the microphone gain. I'm going to set it to 24, so I, when I touch it, it's going to become active up here. And I'm going to leave that at 24. And to clear it, I'm going to press MCH. Now, one trick I'll show you real quick is if your MCH button isn't down here, let me show you how you put it down there. You go over here and you find uh, Swap. And when that starts flashing, you go through and you find it. For MCH, even though it's still there, when I press this, it's going to move it down here. So that's that's how you move buttons down there, and I've covered that in some other videos and so forth. So let's review our settings. We have the uh, we have the microphone equalizer on. We have the processor on. Now, the last thing we've got to do is check the microphone gain. and we're at 24. And those are the settings we want. Now the last thing is I'm going to turn on the monitor. Now what's going to happen is in your headphones you're going to actually hear yourself talking. So I'm going to do this but it's going to echo real bad so I'm going to try to turn it down. Okay off. Let's see. Okay off. I J U F. Whoops. Monitor on. Oh when you turn on the monitor you have to set the volume. And that's what's going to, that's the volume that's going to be in your headset. Okay, I5. Let's try it again, a little bit louder. Okay, I5, JUF. Okay, I5, JUF. Kilo India 5, Juliet. Turn it up. Sometimes you can turn it up to 50, but be careful with your head, headset on. Kilo India 5, Juliet. Let's turn the processor off. Kilo India 5. Processors on Kilo India 5. So it sounds a little bit different. So those are our settings. So uh, we've got our processor on, we've got the monitor turned on. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch over to Ham Radio Deluxe and I'm going to actually let you listen. Let's see, let's see what it sounds like here. Maybe we can actually demo it here. I'm going to clear this. We're going to turn the microphone equalizer and the processor off. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot CQ. Alright, you hear what that sounds like? Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Turn it up a little bit. Kilo India, whoops, turned it off. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. That's actually what you sound like on the air. Now we're going to go here, we're going to press processor, we're going to turn the microphone equalizer on, and we're going to turn on the processor. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot. Do you hear the difference? One, two, three, four. We're echoing a little bit. So what I'm showing you here is with the processor, with the microphone equalizer off and the processor off, it sounds pretty bland. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ, CQ. And if I turn them on, notice the difference. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ, CQ. Alright, now since we're doing single sideband, well the other thing I'll show you is what your SWR meter is going to be doing because we're only going to be sending power. Kilo India 5. Okay. Kilo India 5. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this real quick. We're going to go up to the uh, SWR meter and I'll have a look up there. Because in, when we're doing single sideband, we only send out power when we modulate. So it's going to be a little bit different. So hold on. Okay, there's our meter. We are on the low scale. And I've got my power set to 10 watts. Let's try it here. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter, listening Kilo India 5, Juliet 
Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 2 meter and listening for a contact. Alright, so you see the power going up and down. And if we were in FM, that power would stay at 10. So that's kind of like on when you're doing 10 meter and so forth. So the cool thing about this is you've got the speech processor that you can actually engage. And I'm going to turn them both off real quick. Now I've got the speech processor off. It's uh, pretty pretty bland right now. Not too much going on. Kilo and Yapa, Juliet, Uniform, Fox Truck. I'm going to turn on the equalizer. I'm going to turn on the processor and you can hear it again. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Fox Truck. So the cool thing is this thing, all the, the speech processor functionality that you have on the 10 meter, you also have it on the 2 meter upper side band. Alright folks, well that'll wrap up the video. Just to review real quick, um, you always want to have this MCH button down here. This is always a good thing. So let's go through the microphone equalizer is either on or off. The processor is uh, on and when it's on when you touch it it's going to populate up here so whatever settings you want and you can try different settings if you want to uh, to clear this uh, to clear the processor from the multifunction knob which is what we have right now just press MCH and then the other one is going to be the mic gain same thing with the mic gain when you touch it, it becomes populated up here, and the multifunction knob has control of it. To clear that, press MCH. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, the monitor. The monitor is what's going to provide your feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. But when you have your headsets on, you'll need to press monitor, and while the monitor is visible up here, you'll need to dial this in until it's comfortable in your headset. I'm going to turn it off for right now. I'm going to try one other thing real quick. I had a subscriber. Let me see if I can get one of my pre-program -me pre messages to play here uh, real quick. This is Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Fox, 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 Okay, there's a video where we can actually pre-program these, and I'll also put that in there. You can pre-program messages, and you can do some settings, so I'll put that in the video link, too. So anyway, hope you have some fun. Uh, have some fun with your friends. Uh, everybody get on. Uh, this is a, a talk frequency on two meters. Uh, get on there and have a cue, so that's what we're going to do tonight, see if anybody's on there. They'll probably, the, the FT991A will have the upper sideband. Not all radios have upper sideband in 2 meters so if it's not like an FTM 300 or a 3D those are not going to have upper sideband but anyway this is kind of a new mode at least in FM or uh, uh, one a 2 meter frequency it might be kind of fun to have a QSO so again hope you enjoy the video in 73 and thanks for watching